So here we have the Nissan Qashqai on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. You can then lift and remove these two tray sections, which can also be used to divide the boot up into different sections as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and cooling temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the center, you can see there's a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information displayed there for various different things. Underneath that, the total miles for this car. They are 79,307. If we back out to the steering wheel, the button I was using a second ago is just here. We have our stereo controls beneath that. We have phone. Uh, controls over here as well as cruise control and speed limiter as well over into the center next uh, we have the satellite navigation as you can see a really nice clear touch screen uh, color display very easy system to use uh, you can pair your phone up here just hit connect and then follow the instructions on the screen when it comes to radio we have am dab and fm if you want to listen to your own music we have the cd player auxiliary input Bluetooth audio as well. So loads of ways to listen to your music. On top of all of that, we've also got a 360 parking camera. So reversing camera just there, and then a bird's eye view image of exactly where the car is parked on that left-hand side. And it goes a couple of steps beyond that. So you can have a front-facing camera alongside that bird's eye view, or a front-facing camera and the front passenger side wheel as well. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, driver temperature you can increase and of course decrease the fan speed then you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in the air conditioning is on at the minute you can hit auto the car will now take full control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for any manual adjustment will take auto off and allow you to put it back on your own settings we have a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen a 12 volt charging socket electronic handbrake the gear lever for the six-speed manual gearbox and then driver and passenger heated seats as well the last thing i wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof so uh, we have a button up here give that one single push and that will open all the way to the back of those rear seats and as you can see that lets in a huge amount of extra light to the cabin area here all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.